I'm not really surprised that current research shows that women are far more organised. Uh, we tend to have to be, because normally we're trying to juggle family life, business life, so we have to be very organised, know where everything is at any given moment. Uh, and they always say that women can do five things at once, don't they? So we have to be organised to be able to do that. Well, it's, it's always very difficult for, uh, for people who have a career and have a family. And I always say that, you know, one of the tricks is sort of to have two personalities, to have your home personality and your work personality. And the absolute trick really is not to allow one of those personalities to, to drain the life out of the other. Um, but I mean, I sit there very often and I have to say, my son's football match and a, my board meeting and, you know, my daughter's netball match and a board meeting. And unfortunately, you can never be in two places at once. So it is difficult juggling family uh, and a career. And I think, you know, I love the title working mum because that suits me up down to the ground because I work and I'm a mum and those are the two most important things in my life. Well, it's interesting that a lot of people think that football is a very male-dominated environment, which of course it is um, on the pitch and, and with the footballers, but actually off the pitch there's lots of, of women that work within the industry and in fact um, I sold Birmingham in October and when I, uh, when I sold it, 75% of my senior management team at director level were women. Uh, and in fact, I've now gone uh, into West Ham um, and I've made C sorry, three senior appointments and all of those are women as well. So the team behind the team tends to be very well balanced um, and, um, uh, and less male dominated than you would expect. Uh, when um, uh, Alan told me that Margaret was uh, stepping down from the role, that she didn't want to do it anymore, I was devastated as somebody who watches a show. I love Margaret. I think she's fantastic. And she's really made that role on The Apprentice her own. Um, and when he asked me to... Um, uh, step in um, I was obviously thrilled because when you are, get asked to be part of the show that you you love it's, it's always you know something you know very 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 great um, so I was really pleased to to be taking over from her and we did have a sit down and we did have a chat and she did give me some very good tips and they all were very practical things we typically you know what you'd expect of Margaret well the junior apprentice I love um, Alan decided to, uh, to do a junior apprentice because he thinks that teenagers get a very bad press uh, and he wanted to show them uh, and the public that actually being an entrepreneur and being in business is one of the choices that you can make when you leave school and he wanted to give them a platform in which they could show people uh, how talented they were and I think The Apprentice has ticked all of those boxes. Um, it's interesting um, obviously as you see the show evolve and the people evolved you actually see people go on a journey where they learn things about themselves um, you know they come in they're sort of overly confident and they can do everything and then suddenly they sit back and realize that there are things that they do need to, to learn and things that they can improve upon and actually watching uh, watching them have you know make that journey and evolve and, and learn something has, has been great um, the differences between the boys and the girls is the girls tend to think far more independently of one another where the boys tend to have that sort of herd mentality where they just all sort of follow each other so I think I think it's been great and I think the teams at their best when they're mixed up